meter 85. The perfect frame, many say, for a tennis player. 15. Could have probably said that with his record. 40, 15. Magnificent. How the backhand has improved. First game. Do you think that early on? And then he sort of decides the sort of level he's going to need to play. Oh. And let's face it, he didn't get against Burdick. It wouldn't have been an amazing performance had Burdick beaten him. I mean, that was really why I asked the question. If that is a sort of mindset that he has, it could explain the very slow, sluggish start, as if to say, well, I'm going to come through it. I just, you know, and it sort of gets you off on the bad foot, perhaps. Mm. Chip and charge, dealt with. Not a lot on the chip. So, yeah, good footwork there by Del Potro. Nearly two meters of him, it's a bit like moving the Eiffel Tower, but somehow it shifted. Oh, would you believe it? It's a great save, isn't it? Oh. Federer. Great footwork. And I know I say it every time, I think when he looks to release it in that way. He can hit it both ways. It becomes so much more dangerous as a player. Well, he's shown us, uh, you know, a couple of variations on the return of serve. The more aggressive backhand return, and here really using those dancing feet well. He'd do well. In mm. It's shortening the angle. And, of course, he's got... Well, he won the point, but if we saw that point again... A French title, five years ago. Oh, wow. Well, you described that to Gaudio and, and Franco Davin, do you? I ascribe it to Correa. Yes. <laughs> Is that the most extraordinary thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Absolutely. Chance to finish the match right there, Del Potra. Well, I've had some criticism from people who say, you know, fancy saying that Federer hasn't got a fantastic smash. But they see what I mean. Yeah. It's not one of the best. Yeah. Right. Del Potro's first ace. Maybe a few cross-court forehands, hard hit, but shorter up the court, open up the court if he can. We would expect the smash to be better. Virginia. 
But he's tearing through these service games. That's ten points in a row on serve for Federer. Where did the inroads come from? Earlier on. Is he so handy at playing these? And he's certainly getting his fair share of half volleys so far. Comes from the serve. Good face. 13 points in a row. The sign of his old form. Yeah. It's winning so much easier, doesn't it? Federer. But even Roddick was partly injured in LA, I think, in the final there. Ooh. Ooh. Super. Yeah, and the footwork. And I'm not, not knocking Del Potro. I mean, the, the chap's a terrific player. But he's going to be even better. Federer was able to get the ball back pretty easily. Mm. Hmm. Mm. So in the little move that Federer makes here after playing the shot, dancing feet. He was with the ball all the way. Let's watch him here. It's just a pure joy to watch. Well, this is a virtuous uh, opening game of the second set, isn't it, by Federer? I mean, that drop shot and then this uh, half volley. The great Lou Hode would have been proud of this one. The feel. No children, but you can just see him putting his hand over his baby's bottom. <laughs> Still. Face. Well done, sir. That's what you've been calling for. Better use of the serve. Frustration for Del Potro. At the moment, Federer, a set and three love. <laughs> well, he got a lot of practice early on in the... Been about Perry Como, but he's got the footwork here of uh, Michael Jackson, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, thrilling. Look at that. <laughs> it's terrific. There's no doubt he's lapping this up. Feeling that he has. Yeah. I mean, he started with early on with one of. Has at times looked sort of almost rapturous, which, you know, isn't typical Federer, because there are usually a lot of miss hits, not as many winners, as in just boosted Federer a little bit as well in the men's singles. Yeah. 
Six games in a row now for Federer. Reading two, 57 titles from 78 finals, 13 majors, 14 tennis masters series, and four masters cup. Well played. Oh, and of course, the gold medal at the Beijing pitch. He says, and I've said it in every one of his matches this year, is responsible for the form he showed, particularly in the final against Murray, to win his 13th. I mean, whether he does this year. Well, Del Potro has done the evening at six foot six. I think he's probably put on a few inches. Whereas Fedra's has actually shrunk. And he's Michael Chang inside. He's not had a look at him. He's just standing in the middle, mm. like a conductor. All the movement. Oh, that's uh, well. I'll refrain from the. Game second set. Another love serve. Struggling to get his scoreboard working. He needs to right here. Love Change of tactic, not helping him. In effect, not the rebound effect. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Surface, of course, that used to be rebound ace. Trees three prior coming into this for Federer. Brilliant. Not a Double bounce. And another drop oh. to love. Oh. FC ball. Make it very uncomfortable for a tall man. 40, 15. This is in a best of five. Of all the matches were played, best of five. He got an angle, and he anticipated. 40, Good thinking by Del Potro, and uh, one of the very few angles he's played. Wins him his eighth point against the Federer serve. Going Federer. And of course, that's one Federer of the problems. Federer is striking the ball. Too good. By far. Successive points on serve as Del Potro. From the frying pan right into the firing line. Someone's given up the ghost. <laughs> Could be in the form of Del Potro. Both of them on court with him. I think if Zabaleta and Monaco were on, Federer would still be beating them. It's just one of those majestic performances of his. Easily, where he had to retire. What a difference. Yeah. It's the weather putting pay to successfully defend, and Del Potro getting some sort of consolation support here. Yeah, and yeah. Melbourne is about to go into its hottest run of days since 1908 They've been government health number reading the serve he takes that weapon away from Roddick and most of his game with it Roddick did serve brilliantly today it's gonna have to be again against this man well it might even come down to tiebreakers with Roddick if he really serves well jumping the gun here I know but Surely you're right. And there's 12, effortlessly. Ace number 11.
Portillo had one. Not one double fault. And they've been muted. Game seven, seven, seven. 13 games in a row. You can say a lot. Vintage Federer is back on the Rod Laver Arena. Is there an apology for one Martin Del Potro? He's such a gentleman, you would imagine there was. Del Potro said there was going to be a...